Kathleen McGrath, and in this presentation, I'm going to show you how to write queries in Visual Basic. Using Language Integrated Query, or LINK, you can query data from any data source that supports LINK, such as a SQL Server database, XML, in-memory arrays and collections, and ADO.NET datasets. Because the queries are written in Visual Basic Language, your query results are returned as strongly typed objects. I'll demonstrate how to create queries on a list of data objects that contain the attributes of a set of fictional students. The queries incorporate several new features of Visual Basic, including object initializers, local type inference, and anonymous types. I'll start by creating a Visual Basic console application. I'll click the File menu, click New Project, and then click Console Application. A new project is created. Link query operations consist of three actions. One, obtain the data source or sources. Two, create the query. And three, execute the query. I'm going to use a list of student objects as my data source. First, I'll add the code that defines the student class into my project so that it replaces the code that appears when I first created the project. This code can be found in the topic, How to Create a List of Items. This code defines a student class. Each student object contains a first name, a last name, a class year, and an academic rank in the student body. And it returns a list of student objects in the GetStudents function. Following the pattern of the code here, I'll add another instance of the student class to the list. So I'll add dim student 11 as new student with dot first equals Lisa, dot last equals Miller, dot year equals senior, dot rank equals eight. Using this syntax called object initializers enables me to declare my object and initialize its value in one line of code. Next, I'll add student 11 to the student list. Now I'll create a simple query to produce a list of the students whose academic rank puts them in the top 10. I'll go to the area of my code that has a comment that reads, paste query and query execution code from this walkthrough. Then I'll paste in my code. Notice that the query is very much like a SQL query. There's a from statement, where statement, and select statement. But I'm able to write the query language directly in my Visual Basic code. And if I type the query manually, you'd see that I get IntelliSense as well. So this makes writing queries in Visual Basic very easy. Notice also that in this query, we didn't specify a type for the query. The compiler uses local type inference to determine the type. If I hold the mouse pointer over student query, you'll see that the compiler assigned type is I enumerable of student. Keep in mind that the variable student query only contains the definition of the query, not the results of running the query. The typical mechanism for running a query is to use a for each loop. So I'll add a for each loop below the query. When I rest my cursor over the loop control variable called student record, you'll see that its type is inferred to be student because student query returns a collection of student instances. Now I'll run the application and the console window will display the results. Now I'll modify the query to show some different results. I'll add an order by clause between the where statement and the select statement of the query. This will let me order the results alphabetically based on the last name and then first name and I'll choose ascending order. I'll run the project and note that the list is now ordered alphabetically. You can use many more query operators to make your queries specific. For examples of more complex queries, see the topic, Walkthrough, Writing Queries in Visual Basic. You can get more information about developing Visual Basic applications in the Visual Basic Help. You can find other resources such as technical articles, samples, blogs, and videos at the Visual Basic Developer Center. Just go to msdn.microsoft.com slash vbasic.